I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Race number two, the start of the place accumulator, 1600 meters the distance. It's an MR64 handicap, 10 past one the off time. Average ration of a 62, it's an E-class contest. Favorite, uh, joint favorites, we've got Eventador number two and number five, just for the penny, both at 22 to 10. Number three, Devils and Dust is at four to one. Number seven, Wave Warrior, six to one into five to one. And then it is seven to one and better bar those. Now, I like uh, one horse here. And that's number two event to I think it's finally his day to uh, get that uh, fourth career victory. I've been following him in a number of his recent starts, hoping that he'd get the job done. But uh, he's come down in the ratings from a 78 down to a 64. He gets an additional one and a half cages off the back from a two draw. He drops in class, he drops in trip, but I think it is a distance that will suit him quite nicely. And his last victory, in fact, did come in an E-class contest. So I think that number two event to is perfectly teed up to go close in this contest and get the job done. And he's going to be the confident first selection for me in race number two. I think he's a banker in uh, the place accumulator. I'm going to take my chances and bank him in the buy pot as well. I think he's the horse that uh, they all need to set their sights on. Healthy respect for a couple of other horses, the likes of Devils and Dust, who uh, does drop in class and she could uh, be competitive here. Number five, just for the penny. He's holding a uh, steady form. You've got uh, Raven Sword who can run the odd race now and then and then even a horse like wave warrior could probably be the main danger to his stable companion eventador he's a runner that is a uh, course and distance suited he's got a seven draw to contend with but i think he could certainly run into um, the action but number two eventador that's going to be the top selection for me in race number two and uh, devon how do you see the second race unfolding yeah, I'm in full agreement with you that uh, number two, Eventador, uh, could be a place accumulator banker. That last run was very, very good, made up a substantial amount of ground, does have a plum draw with Rachel Vinegar board, so definitely could be a possible place accumulator banker. But I've elected to go with number five just for the penny as the first selection here with Richard Furia board. Now, overall, the form has been absolutely consistent and overall has taken a drop in, in the the merit rating so this horse was rated at around about 91 if I'm not mistaken so has taken a drop in the merit rating overall and I just believe that uh, that this horse could be in the right field here and I say that respectfully because it is a small compact field and Richard Furry is riding exceptionally well and I think he's going to time this race to perfection if you look at that last start this horse was drawn 9 out of 13 ran 5.1 lengths behind the winner this is a this is a small and compact field I'm sure Richard Furry is going to place him into a, a decent position and this horse is going to be absolutely a flying late other horses that you can include in your exactors and trifectas possibly a horse like number three devils and dust from the Paul Lafferty yard with Muzi any aboard only shoulders 56 and a half kgs is a filly take note of that is a filly uh, taking on the boys here but she is very very capable on her day and then um, Number seven, Wave Warrior. I'll keep a close eye on this individual. Lengthwise, never too far off the action, but hasn't quite reproduced that good early form that he used to show on the poly track. Nevertheless, I'll throw this into larger trifectas and quartets. But for me, I'm going with number five just for the penny. That's uh, two horses that you can play around in race number two, numbers two and five. Uh, Devon likes the five. I'm in the camp of number two. And uh, that is the start of the PA PAP. So it's a race where you want to go with just those two horses or you are looking to a banker, a certain uh, runner here. Well, then uh, between those two, we should potentially see our winner. Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the same foundation. The donation we received from Interbase helped us in procuring vital life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.